here, okay, I'm going to take the front torso sloper. I'm going to convert it to a princess line block sloper. That's what's next. Okay, guys, if you're just tuning in for the first time, I'm hoping you're going to love this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and put that bell notification so you don't miss any of my teaching videos. I have everything from the lace gown project, putting a couture lace gown from start to finish together, from teaching tutorials on draping and flat pattern to interviews of people in the industry or related industries for fashion design. Okay, before I get started, I want to reiterate my five-piece sloper set. The five-piece sloper set is what makes the torso slopers. You need uh, four pieces actually in order to make the sloper. And I have that on sale on my website. And what's great about it is I you can you can buy the five-piece sloper set on my website and you will get I'm still doing the sale guys I'm still doing the sale you can get the torso sloper for free and it's a really lower price so go check that out on my website which is eliascouture.com or susanelias.com okay so the torso sloper the torso sloper front I'm going to show you how to convert this into a princess block sloper so i'm going to separate the two pieces and we're going to do it at the shoulder and i'm going to show you step by step on the flat let's do that next okay so i have it here and i'm going to weigh it down and the first thing i'm going to do is trace around this entire sloper so i'm just going to trace around the perimeter of this right now i'm going to put in all the notches especially the notches here on this side dart all the way down and there we go all right now I want to have all these darts in so I can show you what's going on so I'm going to use my owl and I'm going to make an indication where the ends of these darts are so that you can see so I'm going to go ahead and put put a little hole for each one of these indications this is the apex right here and this is the end of the darts the sides of the darts okay so now I'm going to put an indication here because this is where I'm going to put the, the princess line for the separation I'm going to put it in pen I'm going to put here mid shoulder to apex this is the apex and then from apex to that first dart and then a line in the center of that dart going all the way down to the bottom here. Now I'm going to take these weights off. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the perimeter and I'll be right back. Here is the torso sloper. I put little circles on all of the holes that I punched so that you can see it hopefully a little bit better. This is the apex and I'm going to fill in all of those dart legs. So this is the notch for this side bodice dart to that to the dart points I'm just going to fill them all in all the dart points to the dart legs okay so we have this here as well and it goes down to here Okay, now that we have that, then I'm going to go ahead and put a straight line to the apex just like that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a curve line with my French curve from the apex to the center to the top of that one dart there. Then in the middle of the dart, I'm going to put a line and I'm going to continue that line all the way down to the bottom, which you cannot see, but it is straight down here to the end. Okay, the very first thing you're going to need to do is to close this one dart because all we want is either a fitting dart which we can relax or keep in with this sloper. So I'm going to close this side bodice dart and the, what I'm going to do is just fold the bottom here to the top like that and I'm going to tape it shut. 
Okay, now it's a little hard to see because it's going to be a little bit concave. I'm going to cut along that center line that I just drew. Just cut all the way and separate the two pieces. Okay, so here is that one half, and here is the other one. And look what happens, though, just so you can see what happens. When I close this dart, it opens a dart here at the shoulder, but we're not going to have a dart because we're separating these pieces. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace on my white paper here so you can see what's going on the perimeter of this new sloper. Indication where the apex is, indication where that dart starts. I'm going to go ahead and do this side as well. Apex again. Okay, I want to make it more fitted, so I'm going to put a, a hole here where the, the dart width is, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and put a marking like that. And this, I'm going to put this entire dart in as well, all the markings. Okay, let's take it off. Okay, so here we have it. Here are, here are the two sections. Like I said, I'm going to put in this dart here. These legs, if I can find them. You can keep this dart in or you can relax it, meaning just let, let it flat for, for fit purposes. And then we went in here where the um, waist is so this is the new line okay so now the new line is not this it's this i'm going to scribble this guy out like that and you just want to straighten all the lines out and this is the the right this is the center front portion of this torso princess line block and this is the side front of the um, princess line block and you have it there guys if you ever wanted to add to the bus or you wanted to add to the waist you can do that but now you have the two panels let me um, show you that and cut it out just want to make sure you know where I'm cutting out I'm not cutting on this line where that dart was I'm going inside the line so I'm cutting right there you can curve it just slightly. And then this is where the apex is. Now, because it's a sloper and there's no seam allowance, you can put it on your oak tag, which is that hard cardboard type professional paper that is used for slopers. I'm going to go ahead and staple that paper that I just cut out all around to secure it to the oak tag so they can go ahead and cut it out. You want to secure it in a lot of places so that it doesn't move on you. Okay, here it is stapled to my oak tag is, uh, to make my hard cardboard sloper like this because there's no seam allowance or not adding seam allowance or not adding ease the ease that's already in here is translated to here but if you're making an actual bodice out of it or making an actual dress out of it you will have to add additional ease and we're going to go ahead and cut it out now right on the tip of that line like that all the way around and I'll be right back here we are with the two pieces Make sure that they match so you have to walk this pattern. 
I'll put the, I'm putting the green line, which is parallel to the center front, two inches, and put my arrows. It's the princess torso sloper front, size eight, that equals to a four six in a garment. Princess torso sloper front, size eight, that translates to a four six in garment. There's your sloper, guys. So here's the front. You can do the same thing to the back. And now you have the two pieces that you could make your princess line blouses, dresses, coats, and that's what you have here. I thank you so much for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you like it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Also, find me on Instagram, okay? Susan Elias Couture. I would love to see you guys on my Instagram account and like me there. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.